Long ago, in ancient times, he wore a crown beneath a blood-red sky. Now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. It's time to prove once and for all who is the most powerful being in Valheim. The final boss, Yagluth, calls our name. A challenge we cannot deny. Once a man of broken bones, Hrothgar will be the one breaking bones in this fable. Not only that, he will attempt to tear the crown from Yagluth's head and bury it with the fallen bones like somebody should have done long ago. First things first, I wanted to start this episode off by hunting down some sea serpents. Those silly sea s Those silly sneezed Those silly s Those silly sneaky sea snakes have eluded me this entire series, and they continued to do so. I searched the oceans nearby after two in-game days and no luck, I called it quits. But luckily, I did manage to kill one while not recording a few days beforehand. I wasn't recording because it was really late and my girlfriend was sleeping. I promise I actually killed a sea serpent. But do not worry, there is still time in this video to find sea serpents. I headed home in shame, but I thought to myself, what would cheer up a sad viking? A hammer, not just any hammer, frost near itself. I wanted to build um, the hammer, the frost hammer. I don't know how to pronounce it, man. Frostner, Frostnir. But I've gathered up all the stuff we need for that as you can see it's pretty easy to get just mine some silver kill some drakes and purchase the ymir flesh from the trader as you can see we can craft it now we're going to go ahead and do that i don't think we're going to be able to upgrade it though we're going to need ymir oh we just need silver actually and i do have some more silver so i am going to upgrade it actually because i've heard this is good against the fullings with this hammer we would be able to wield the power of frost in our crushing blows it was now time to make the first voyage to the plains something that i've dreaded ever since i started playing Valheim. my only experiences with this deceiving lush landscape had been plagued by death from above previously those goddamn death mosquitoes where the hell is the bug repellent when you need it iron gate i'm looking at you but we've nearly made it. I'm going to build my portal not in the plains, like just on the edge here. I think this will be a safe spot. Oh, we've got fullings. Oh, we've got a fulling coming over already. Um, we've got two of them. Oh, God. They're nasty, man. I don't like them. I've heard they're a real bitch. Like, they're really hard to defeat sometimes. So, I'm going to sit that out as far as possible so nothing will touch it for now and we're just going to name that the plains because i think that's what i called it grayling get out of here oh frost knows beast they just whacked that fool in the next century we're going to test out these fullings i got to battle them at some point so i might as well test them out i heard they're what drop the things we need anyway we're going to use our sneak ability actually and we're going to try shoot them with our boat oh we actually killed it oh that one's coming for us it's coming for us Alright, let's get our shield ready. Let's try it. Oh! It broke through our shield. Alright, we're doing some damage. He's frozen. Oh, they do some damage, man. Dodge that. This thing doesn't have much range at all, though. Frick me. They do some damage. Yeah, this thing doesn't have much range. Oh, we got some black metal scrap, though. Oh, I see a death mosquito over there. Let's see if we can get that out of our path immediately. Should be able to hit it from here. Oh, I just missed. Just missed. What about now? Oh, just missed again. I'm wasting arrows right now. Oh, I got it. What a shot, son. We've got heaps of cloud berries here. I'm going to gather those up because I've used some of the ones I have at home. We also need to look for, like, barley or barley flour. So we can get our windmill up and going. And that's how we make bread and stuff. Or flax. We need to find flax or something. And shoot him in the head. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that one missed. Oh, he died. He died from the um, effect. What ones am I using? Obsidian arrows. So they take a damage effect from... Oh, that's a falling. He's coming over to explore me. I should probably hit him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Got some black metal scrap, that's always good, we're gonna need that. This was the first time I properly explored the plains biome and I wasn't sure what to expect, but we found exactly what we needed, a fulling village. Cause I've never been to the plains before, I do see a village. That's something we have to go take on. Hopefully they don't destroy me though. I uh, know when you get near these villages, they tend to be quite alert. And there's a, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a big brute. There's a lot of them. Spear pro, spe spear prowers. They're probably the first priority, so I'm going to try to take them out. That's one. Hit that one. Kill that one. No one's noticed yet. Oh, there's one right in front of me, I didn't even realise. Get up out of here, son. Get up out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Slow him down. Oh, he hit me. Hit me. That guy hasn't seemed to realise yet, let's shoot him. Right, let's try to kill him this time. Alright, that's him out. We've got some torch people coming. Oh, we got a lot of people coming. Let's back up from the camp. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. That's not good. Slow him down. Back up off me. Back up off me. Get up out of here. Just being very cautious right now. I want to take them out one by one. And not all at the same time. That's another one gone. Should I try to take out that brute while I can see him? I think I should. Hit him once. Hit him twice. Hit him three times. Hit him four times. There's a full incoming over. Let's move up. Let's regain some stamina. I want to get rid of that fulling. Because he's going to be annoying straight up. They're fast, man, too. They're really fast. Alright, what's he going to drop? Come on. He dropped... Desk... Oh, that's, that's a Deskito trophy. I thought that's what he dropped. He didn't drop anything different, but he dropped some black metal scrap. What is that thing there? Is that a shaman? Is that a healer? I should probably take him out, shouldn't I? Well, I did. I did just that. Oh, wait, no, he's not dead. Kill this guy before he rolls up on us. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. I don't want to be here. Pow! You go on. Try me. Bow OP against fullings. Get some of that. Pow! Boom! Fulling at first glance look harmless, but these goblin menace pack a punch more powerful than a fully grown troll. But not only did we find a village, this one had the goods. Fulling totals. These mystical bad boys are the key to summoning Yagloth, but first we had to find out how to get them. We might be able to take the rest out with Milo. Block that. Get some of that up in you. Regain some stamina. He's slowed down. Oh, we should probably shoot him because there's more guys coming over. Oh, there's a lot coming. Alright, let's be careful. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again! Hit him again! Oh, there's another one coming over. Oh, there is a... There's a totem. There's a totem. Ow! Ow! Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh my god! How am I meant to defeat those things? I've almost made it back. It's been a long, sneaky journey. Um, let's not anger these locks. Oh my god, there's a death skeeter right there. Sneak up to our stuff. Hopefully it doesn't see us. Please give me my stuff. Thank you. Put it on. Put on the armor. Alright, I looked it up and it doesn't seem that fullings in villages respawn, so we just have to be real careful. Now, it took me so long to figure out how to invade this village, it became nightfall, so I headed home and restocked on arrows. While I was doing my preparations at home, it began to storm. And you know what that means, the serpents were out to hunt, but what they didn't know was that they were also being hunted by a very hungry viking. 
Oh, I found one. I've ran across a sea monster. What's the closest era? That's the closest era. We're going that way. Come on, Mr. Sea Monster. Follow me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Follow me. Come on. Let's go. Let's harpoon it from here. Serpent harpoon. Pick up the pace a bit. I'm pulling you to the land, son. You ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. Let's bring it onto the land. Let's bring it onto the land. Alright. We got this. I'll shoot it. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. It's stuck here. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Give me the stuff. Hell yeah. That's our first recorded sea monster kill. We did it. This is how I get stuff that's underwater, by the way. I just jump, and you just kind of do that. I got most of them there. There's still one down there. Hell yeah, I'm actually so stoked from that. After the confidence gain of killing a serpent, I was able to finish my raid on the Fooling Village and wipe out any trace, man, woman, goblin baby, I left none alive. But on the less dark side, I got three out of the five fooling totems that we needed. Pick up. Hell yeah, we got a fooling totem. I think we need ten of those, I believe. Oh, we got needles and black metal scrap in there. Take him out. Get him. Get some of this up in ya. Oh, we found barley. Yes, take that. Take that. We're finding all the goodies. There's a shaman. I want to take him out. Take him out. We're taking them all out. Boom. Get some of that. Get rid of him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. He's who freaking killed me last time. I mean, you were. But I'll be back for you. I'll tame you. Pacify you. How to train a dragon style. I think we cleared this camp. I think we cleared it now. I think it's all good. More needles, more scrap, more barley. So this is basically all the spoils we have gotten this episode. Pretty sure that's a good haul, if you ask me. Oh, I've actually come across another sea monster. Fancy that. In broad daylight. I guess what we can do is hit it to get its attention. Oh, we nearly killed the goddamn thing in one hit. Um, it might flee from us right now. Oh, it hit us, it hit us, it hit us. Alright, it's aggroed on us. Let's take it back to this area over here. We need to harpoon him. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. Oh, it might, it might actually kill him if we harpoon him. Oh, it didn't kill him. It didn't kill him. We should be able to do this. Stamina potion. Stamina potion. Come on. We can do this. Alright, slow the ship down a little bit. Slow the ship down a little bit. Stamina potion again. Oh, I can't use it right now. Get onto the land. Get onto the land. Do I get him stuck? Kill it! Quick! Yeah! Yeah, we got it. That's as close as the land as I'm going to get it. Well, second sea serpent. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get its scales, though. Sadly. But that's okay. We've already got 16 of those. After my successful raid, I thought, let's go for a second. So I sailed over to another plains nearby. And this was just the beginning of what was in store for me. I underestimated the task ahead of me. Oh, I nearly destroyed the ship. Frick. Bit of a rough landing. Um... Let's get rid of that stuff. Um, let's bring them over this way. Oh, frick me. Frick me. I knew something like that was going to happen. Destroy it. Frick me. Frick me, I hate them. Oh my god, that was too close. I hate them. Boom, get some of that. Boom, get some of that. We got this. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> How am I meant to get back over there now? After this unfortunate event, Hrothgar returned home. He decided to dedicate his life to the pursuit of knowledge just like Odin, as he needed a spiritual awakening to help him conquer the plains. He sat on the peak of the tallest mountain to listen to the voice of the winds, 
He metaphorically hung from a tree for nine days, as Valheim forbids us from committing ritual suicide in the pursuit of knowledge. So instead, he sculled nine meads to vent his frustration, and I assure you this is meditation in Viking culture. Now that I do think back on the meditation process, I did happen to eat some funky glowing mushrooms not long beforehand. After I recovered, I returned to the plains more prepared in hopes to find the last of the fooling totems we needed. So I was going to call it quits, but I've come back. It's been a day since I last played. I traveled back in my car, as you can see over there. And I set up my original plains portal over here so I could travel back here in case I died again. I haven't taken my stuff back home yet because I found out you only need five fulling totems to summon Yagluf. But when I went back home, we did unlock the fire barley wine, which gives us fire resistance against Yagluf and any other fire. Okay, 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 we get it, we get it. You're strong, you're strong, and you're powerful, and you want to eat me alive. Stop this. Stop. No, stop. I need to eat. No! No, 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 Do this. Move! Oh my god. Kill that. Please. Oh, that was such a good shot. There's two after me. Run. Oh, this is intense already. I can heal. I can eat. I should have ate before I stepped foot on land. That was my bad. I can just keep firing on them like this. That was almost a really bad situation. I keep missing, man. My heart's beating like a freaking mother fricker right now. Ow, I'm on fire. That ain't good. Kill him. Kill him. He should die from the damage, I think. Yep. Oh, okay, I can relax. The pl no, the, the planes never lets up, man. <laughs> what the? I was just taking a breath. What is wrong with you, Valheim? Stop. Stop. Oh my freaking! Oh, this game's gonna give me an actual heart attack, an actual one. Okay, we should probably back up. There's a lot coming. There's a lot coming. Oh no, run! Oh, I'm lagging out a bit. Hit him again. We don't want him to make too much noise because they're coming over to investigate. Let's hit him one more time. That should do it. There we go. Let's move away from him right now because they're all going to investigate that. <laughs> he hit that rock and they were like, what's that for? What's that? Someone call? Move. This is movement at its finest, brethren. He's going to throw soon. I keep missing. That's the problem. I'm just bad at video games, man. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Should be able to deal with this guy. Boom, pow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get rid of him. I know this is kind of cheesy, but like, what can you do? I'm not going to run in there all at once. Damn it. Go on, try again. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, peekaboo. No. Yeah, he should die. He should die. God damn it. That was a close one. Frick, just hit him, man. God damn. Hit him, too. Block. Yeah, I smacked him into oblivion. Yeah. I might need to go home and get some more arrows. That's what I might need to do. Don't hit me. No thanks. No thanks. Hit him in the face. Got him. Level 2 is coming over. Oh, I missed. Frick me. Alright, I slowed him down. Hit him in the head. We might have to use all our arrows on this guy, man. Alright, we should be able to finish him off. We should be strong enough. Oh, he's running from us. What the hell? You dummy. You dummy. Oh, yeah, son. It's one. Two, three. <laughs> God, I'm just wailing on them, man. Get them all rounded up. Pow, son. Oh, damn, they did some damage there. I'm on fire. I don't see any totems, though. Which isn't a good sign. I'm out of arrows. Okay. 
Here's where it kind of gets intense. Hit him. I'm low. I'm low. I need to use a healing potion. Boom. Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out my face. Parried him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We need to get rid of him. We got this. Yeah. I'm going to pick up this barley. Because I need it. Barley is how we're going to make our fire resistant wine. Oh, what's this? Flax. I haven't found flax yet. Hell yeah. At least we got something new out of this. Taking out all these falling with arrows was taking absolutely forever, and it also consumed all my arrows. So I returned home with what I stole from the falling village, and I put it to good use. I learned how to spin flax into linen thread using the spinning wheel. Has the spinning wheel produced anything yet? It has. So we've got linen thread now. Oh, we've unlocked a padded cuirass. I also learned how to make flour out of barley in the windmill. While I waited for those to process, because it's quite a lengthy process, I celebrated by feasting upon the flesh of the serpents that we heroically hunted down. And then of course, I turned them into stew. If we chuck this serpent meat on, it is freaking huge, man. Like, look at that. It's just taking up all the campfire space. <laughs> it's a feast, my brother. It's a freaking feast up in here. This is how much food I need to get through my Viking day. My stressful Viking plains journey. This is how much food I need afterwards. All those death skeetos drain the calories from my freaking soul, son. And there we go. Just like all the other suits we crafted in the cauldron. We've got some serpent stew. I put none of their corpses to waste because we're all about being eco-friendly here, aren't we, pals? So I turned their scales into a dope-looking shield. Not sure if it's the best shield, but it's the coolest-looking one, and I dig that, son. I stocked up on needle arrows and frost arrows by the hundreds, so I didn't have to keep crafting them throughout the episode. Needle arrows, let's do this. We're just going to craft as many as we can. In that time, I had processed some flour, which unlocked end-game food recipes for us to craft in due time. Oh, we got four flour. We got blood pudding, fish wraps, and bread. How do we craft those? Lox meat pie. There we go. Blood pudding. That seems pretty easy. Bread, we just need more flour for. Bread, we just need fish and flour. Lox meat pie. I just need to kill some lox and cloudberries. It was time to return to pillage what was rest of the fulling village, but apparently I was compensating for something because I just ended up getting fucked in the ass, man. At least near this portal we have locks, so if we want to kill some locks, we can kill them later on. But I kind of don't want to piss them off right now. Please don't get angry at me. I just want to pass through, guys. Stop bullying me. I just want to pass through. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Frick. Eat, please. No. Oh, my God. This is... I hate this place, man. I hate this place. It's so forsaken. It's oh my god. Oh, this place is so forsaken. Can I just swim over there and get my stuff, do you think? I think I could. Look how many Deskitos are over there. I think I can swim over there. Oh, they're really close to my stuff as well. Okay, I'm gonna be sneaky. I'll be sneaky. Put on my stuff as quick as possible. And stay away from them. I don't want to be anywhere near them. I should have said this earlier, but I came to the saddening realisation that this village had no totems to offer us. It was a complete bust up. I spent a good hour in this plains. I searched all the villages nearby and they also didn't have totems. I couldn't help but think possibly these fullings weren't subjects and worshippers of Yagloth. Did I just murder a whole village of innocent goblin people? But anyway, there's no time to dwell on such thoughts, so I thought I'd finally get my revenge on those big bully loxes. I really have a thirst for just murdering anything that gets in my way. I don't know. I think it's pretty normal if you ask me. I'm gonna try to get a sneak attack on him. They're not too hard, you just gotta run away from them, honestly. Pretty slow. He's getting stuck in these trees. I'm gonna use these trees to my advantage and keep him stuck like the big dummy is. I don't think a hammer will do much. Oh god, they, they're so strong. They do so much damage. 
I don't think my hammer will do much to him, that's all. That's why I'm shooting it and miss that one. Not today. Get out of here. Let's take this one down. Move. That was a close one. He nearly bit me on the behind. Don't bite my behind, Mr. Lux. I don't like that. Don't bite my behind. Probably, probably not cleanest down there. I'm a Viking. I haven't invented the bath yet. I haven't got home and hearth update yet. One more should do it. One more. Hell yeah. Oh, look. That Lux is on fire. <laughs> oh my god. That poor Lux. It's on fire. It's like, help me. I'm going to shoot it because it's probably already half damaged or something. It doesn't know what's going on. It's trapped. It's like, how did I get here? Help. Please. Yeah, come hit this fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, burn. How do I get around this big beam of light? How does one cross through Big Burnie Boy? I don't want to be a pie. I don't like gravy. All right, poor Lox. Poor Lox got cooked up. Shortly, the Lox's meat and pelt would come in handy. I know you can eventually tame these big guys up, but they would serve no purpose against the Agnus, so I'm not doing that. At this point, it was time to sail back home in our ship, which I was using to store all our black metal scraps. Sadly, you can't take ore and metal through teleporters. So I demolished my teleporter so I could use it later on. I didn't know at the time, but we needed a blast furnace to smelt our black metal scrap that we had been collecting from the fullings. Those goblins love this stuff. I don't know what they do with it or where they put it, but this strange black metal will allow us to craft better weapons shortly. I finally had what I needed to turn those bad boy loxes into delicious pies. Probably one of the best food sources in the game, besides serpent stew. Look at the meme, ma. I cook at the pie in the video game like a viking. I realised that I had been playing a long time without a cape, so I decided to put that lox pelt to good use and craft a cape out of it. As time passed, I very slowly got enough black metal to craft the best sword currently in the game. Boom, we unlocked an Arda gear, an axe and a sword it looks like, and a shield. We need two fine wood, some linen thread, and some black metal. And boom, we got a black metal sword now. With my newly crafted gear, it was time to find the last two fulling totems I needed. So I set out on another voyage. Is this a plains biome? I think this is a plains biome. It is, I wonder if there's any villagers here. Freak me. Back up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Shoot them. Freak. He's all over the place. Got it. Not the best place to land, but we'll we'll work with it. Freak. Freak again. God damn, I'm I'm a terrible shot all of a sudden. Alright, take out all them mosquitoes because I don't want to deal with them. Freak me, I'm a bad shot. It's this boat bobbing up and down, I think. Please tell me that this village has a full ink totem in it. Please. I don't think there is one in that village. God dang it, mate. Maybe there will be a full ink totem inside that building there. Might as well check it. Oh, I see a full ink totem. There's a freaking fooling totem in there, and I, I will be claiming that. I'll be claiming that, thank you very much. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna rain hellfire on them while oh, I can. Sword time. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How much damage? Oh, it does a bit of damage. Test your might, brethren. Give me that totem. Give me that freaking totem immediately. We only need one more. One more totem. Ah! No. He's gonna try to get in here. No, oh, you freaking, you bastard. You bastard. Get out of its way. No, it's gonna kill me, man. Frick, I hate them. They're so fast. Boom, you have to wait until they come straight at you like that. Now, at first glance, this village didn't seem to have what I needed, but I also needed to gather some flax to build new armor. I also needed barley to craft a lot of the new foods that we have been unlocking. So I decided to be a bit cheeky and do a quick run-through pillage of the Fulling Village. That was a neat little rhyme there that I didn't intentionally do. This made me very stupid. But I'm going to try run through there and grab 
all their barley and stuff because I need it. I need it, okay? Alright, we can do this. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Grab it, grab it. Grab as much as you can. Oh, there is a totem here. Grab it. Run. Run. Bad things are happening. I had to run. I got what I need and I'm Askies. I'm Askie, fool. There was a totem. I just wasn't close enough to see it. There you go. There's a tactic. Just run in and grab stuff. That's all you need to do in this game. Is this flee in terror. That's the whole point of the game. Just fleeing in terror. I wasn't going to let anything ruin my chances of success, so I made another voyage home to keep the totem safe. On the good side, this gave my furnace enough time to process enough black metal to make some upgrades to our sword. Boom. We've got a level 3 sword now, which I'm pretty happy with at the moment. I know you can get to level 4. Now is the last chance I would get to craft the foods I would need for the boss fight. So I made some blood pudding, fire resistance wine, which is essential to withstand this fiery demon. And I made some fish wraps, which required me to fish for almost two in-game days. Good fun, not a tedious process at all. In the background, I've been fermenting my stamina and fire resistance meat, so I didn't have to wait for it later on. Now from here onward, the only thing really left to do was search for Yagla summoning grounds, or a vestige stone. So I did exactly that for nearly five God damn hours. So let's press skip on this part of the story, shall we? Because all I did was run through villages like an absolute wimp gathering flax and barley and dying in the process. Nothing different here, just an average day in Valhalla. I returned home once again in shame, but this time to cheer myself up, I crafted the most heavy and debilitating armor I could think of. I also crafted an Arda gear, which ends up obsolete in the boss fight anyway, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much. Look at us go. We're packing the heat now. Let's put our arm on. See what we're looking like. I'm walking like I'm in a beast 50 year old man. I had come to my wits end and just decided to sail out into the unknown in hopes of finding something. Just freaking something that will help me get this boss done. But we're gonna go out and try find him. I'm planning on going up and searching up here because I haven't been up in this area yet. As you can see, I searched all the way over there. Could not find him for the life of me. Oh, there's a sea monster. I'm just killing this thing. I'm not dealing with it. Um, I'm not gonna try harpoon it or anything. I just wanna get rid of it. Goodbye. See you later. I don't wanna deal with you. I just didn't want to deal with it, you know? Alright, let's grab that. We got seven meat, which I'm happy with. I don't want to spend too long in the water. There's another one. There's a freaking another one. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Is it dead? I think it's fleeing. Um, we should probably get out of this ocean. Maybe they're coming here, because... I'm just sitting still. Oh, we've got another island up ahead. There's heaps of islands out here, man. Just tiny little islands. Are those wrecked ships? I didn't know you could find wrecked ships in this. What the hell? That's new to me. Uh, I'm just gonna um, search around the coast to see if I can find anything of note because I don't want to waste my time in these planes if they haven't got the spawn, you know? Like, I want to find the spawn and I'll make that my main planes bomb. Get away from me. What did I do to you? What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you? Come on. Oh! Did we just find it? I think we may have just found it. What? I've never seen anything like that before. That's a really strange spawn. It's like on an island. We're gonna have to fight him on an island. That could be... That could be quite difficult. After about, probably, seven hours, we found it. Whoa, this is kind of epic. This is indeed kind of epic. I might have to bring a hoe here and actually expand this area so we have some battleground. I'll also take out that tower and we'll make that tower our um, respawn point. And his dying soul was split and shared among all his kin. I finally found it. After all that time, it was finally time to start preparing to face Yagla. Before we did that, I had to take out any fully encampments nearby, starting with the tower. This I would use as a respawn point and a backup base if it came down to it. 
Alright, Fulings, come out. Come out of your tower. Let down your golden locks. Or should I say green ears? Green eared beards. You got a weird green eared beard. Fulling. Alright, I think we've cleared out this tower. There's another village over there. Um, but we're claiming this. This is ours now. Claim it as Orothgar's. I then cleared the Fulling village nearby because knowing my luck, they would all hunt me down as soon as I began the boss battle. Come on, fully. Come on, get out of my way. Hit him. Oh, he blocked that, at least. I think we got him. We got him. I also expanded Yagalus Island with a hoe slightly, just so we had some battleground space to work with. Now, we couldn't have the ocean killing us of all things, could we? Looking back on past events in this series, I can't help but think, have I prepared enough? But there is no time to think in desperate situations like this. We must act upon our will. It's time to prove our might against the Yagla. Let's do this, brethren. No fear as we go into this boss battle. I need no introduction, you bony-headed f I have come to smite of thou wretched one into the ground once and for all. Hey buddy, I'm kind of on a schedule here, I'm just here to open a can of whoop ass on you so I can redeem myself to the gods. I don't have an ass, I drag myself around, are you blind? Well in that case, I'ma whoop your tail all over this island either way, fool. Enough, you insolent plaything, I will suffer you no more. I'ma beat your skull off its hinges, you bony bitch. Come get some, mate. Don't hurt me, oh god, son. Don't hurt me, please. Okay, he's shooting meteors at us. We might have to melee him. Oh, we're on fire. That That's not good. We need to eat something. That's not good. Oh, that hit us. Jesus. This guy's insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I already know I am. How do we hit this guy, man? Hit him. Alright, we're doing our first bits of damage. We're damaging him. Is he stuck? Dodge! Get up out of there. Move, brethren. We have a chance. He might try to fist us now. Yeah, he tried to fist us. That's okay. We're going in. No, we're not. We're not going in. His attack rate's so fast, man. I don't even know how to deal with it. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's run in after that. Okay, it burns for a little bit. We can tank it. We can tank it. We're gonna need to get out of there. We're gonna need to get out of there. It's suddenly gone ominously, like... freaking quiet. Oh, it's going hectic again. It's going... Hit him. He's fisting us. Frick! I don't like being fisted, Yaglov. Please stop that. Hit him. Hit him in the face. Get that in your snot box, sir. Get that. Hit him in the ass. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're doing the damage. Get up out of there. Oh, we just missed that. We need to regain some stamina. He's in the water. Yeah. What are you going to do in the water, boy? Oh, I need... Move! I'm stuck. I was stuck. That was unfair. I'm lagging, too. World save. Right in the middle of the battle, kidding me? Oh my god. I'm getting smashed by his abilities, man. He's stuck in water. Hit him. Oh, he's doing something. Oh! Let's just run in there. I'm sick of this fire business. We just need to run in there and hit him. He's shooting meteors. Stay out the way of those. God damn, one of them hit us. He keeps climbing into the water, man. Freaking hell. That's all good. Let's tank him while he's in the water. We nearly got him half health. 
We're nearly, we're doing it. We haven't even died yet. Oh, I'm stuck in water. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good. Move. Oh my god. That was too close. He's stuck. <laughs> He's stuck. Yeah. What are you going to do now, Yaglov? Run. Meteors. Not good. Not good. We don't like meteors here. I mean, a meteor shower is nice to look at, but when it's right up in your face, not fun. Not fun, Yaglov. That's okay. Let's hit him. Tank the absolute hell out of that flame. I'm out, skis. Alright, let's go in and beat his ass. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All the damage. Oh, I'm not hitting him anymore, apparently. Yeah! Get some of that up in ya, Yaglut! Get some of that! I'm gonna cut your tail off. How are you gonna move then? Alright, let's get out of the way of that. Oh yeah! I invite the flames! I invite them! They don't scare me. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, son! Oh, doesn't matter. I'm tanking it. We got him so low. Tank it. We're gonna tank this one. And we're gonna back up after this. We've got him so low, guys. So low, just get him down. Yeah, he's not attacking us. Alright, he's gonna hit us now. Meteors? Yeah. We can just avoid those. We can just tank meteors. I'm freaking Hrothgar. Do you know who I am, Yaglov? I tank meteors. I just look them in the face. I'm like, what's up, meteor? You wanna come hit me? Go ahead. We're gonna back up from that. Oh, that did some damage. We need to heal. Can we heal? We can. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Don't be doing that business up on me, Yaglov. We got him so low, we can't get greedy. I'm gonna run up on him. Do some damage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Back up. Back up. Oh, there's a full link coming over. It must be night time. Frick me. Not good. 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 Get rid of him. Let's see how much damage we do with this. Alright, we tank that. Let's go do some damage. It does nothing. It does nothing. Do not use that weapon against the Agamemnon. We're just gonna tank him. Tank him. Yeah! We're doing it. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Yagluf Schmagluf. Get absolutely smacked up. You mean nothing to me. That was easier than freaking bone mass, son. He's just very tanky on the health. We did it. We actually completed Valheim. Or we actually completed what is of Valheim at the moment. We've still got some stuff to do. But there you go. Yagloth Trophy. The crownless head of the dead king. We actually freaking did it. I'm in awe. I can relax. I've got... I've done it. I don't need to do anything else. The peaceful music is playing. What else is there to conquer? Because I am the conqueror. As I said in the beginning, I am the conqueror. As I look up to the stars, I know Odin is watching down. And when I eventually pass on, I'll know I'll be grasped with open arms into the halls of Valhalla. But until then, we are going to continue our journeys in the lands of Valheim. A forsaken soul, trapped. Yet to know what to do with himself, but we're going to return home. <laughs> I'll stop rambling on now. And once again, we return to the sacrificial stones to mount our trophy. Day 210, that's how long it took us to complete Valheim. And some of you are probably thinking that's goddamn long time but I did some building in between I think that's a pretty good time 210 days it's not a hundred but we did it let's mount this thing I don't want to read it get out of here boom we got the big scally boy mounted 
he'll draw forth his necromancer power. So he gives us resistance against fire, frost, and lightning. I haven't seen lightning yet. What would hurt us with lightning? I hope you all enjoyed this finale episode, don't worry this won't be the end of Valheim. With the home and hearth update hopefully on the near horizon, I have some videos planned for that. I also intend on starting a multiplayer modded playthrough, let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed, I would highly appreciate if you left this video a like and sub to the channel. This video took me a week to complete in its entirety, it's currently 1am as I finish the editing process of this video. I know I don't make the best videos out there, but I really do enjoy making these videos and I really appreciate all you pals for tuning in. As always, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you all in my next video. Catch you later.